If you plant them, they will come. The Natural Resources Conservation Service is partnering with the Fish and Wildlife Service and other conservation partners to help private landowners improve habitat for the monarch butterfly in Oregon's Willamette Valley. We are really fortunate in the Willamette Valley to have uh, an active partnership with the Fish and Wildlife Service, the Partners for Fish and Wildlife program. They're based out of um, the refuge complex, and so they have access to equipment and, and restoration expertise. These partners provide technical and financial assistance to private landowners to help them establish and maintain healthy butterfly habitat, such as gumweed and milkweed. It's been fantastic working with NRCS and working with the different landowners and working with um, a number of different partners as well and to be be able to bring a number of different things to the table financially different expertise and then all come together on these big projects. Monarch populations have declined in recent decades due to degraded habitat. NRCS and its partners are committed to restoring and protecting monarch habitat through strategic conservation. NRCS works with voluntary landowners to enroll private lands in conservation easements. These easement programs provide restoration services to enhance plant and wildlife diversity while protecting private lands for future generations. We've loved nature all our lives. I mean, one of the things we wanted to do was to live more rurally. We had lived in, in suburbia in California for a number of years, and so when we found this, this piece of property, we thought, oh, wouldn't it be wonderful to be able to, to live there and uh, feel the seasons more intimately. We wouldn't have done it as intimately if we hadn't had the wildlife easement where we could have uh, assistance in getting the biological diversity and keeping it because it's been a maintenance also. Over the years, uh, NRCS and U.S. Fish and Wildlife and and other groups have come through to help us continue to maintain and enhance the wildlife easement area. Being that the Willamette Valley is mostly privately owned, we have to be able to work on private land to conserve these species. And that's what makes the Wetland Reserve Program and NRCS and, and the rest of its Farm Bill Program so important. The Monarch butterfly is a great example of one of these species because they're a migratory species. They need a network of these lands with native plant communities up and down the Willamette Valley to help them move through the, the area. If there's no milkweed, there's no place for the monarchs to uh, lay their eggs. It was a little struggle getting the plants going, but uh, we kind of learned what that took. And uh, then we started planting more sites figured out what worked and what didn't work. And uh, uh, so it's been, you know, it's been fun just from a science standpoint of seeing what happened. And then, of course, when the monarch appears, it's, it's, uh, it's a blessing, you know, you just get really excited. It's been an amazing blessing. And what's really exciting is we've been able to share that with school children and groups of all kinds, international groups who've come from all different continents. And we've been able to share at various seasons all these different kinds of wildlife uh, opportunities to, to view and share. More than anything, I like being able to see something that has come from being a monoculture of pasture grasses to something like we see behind us where you really see that change and then everything that comes in and uses that habitat and being able to see that change over time is extremely rewarding and whether it's butterflies, birds, you name it, it's being able to see that change is the most gratifying part.